Bible Educator. students uh, welcome to form 3 mathematics our topic is commercial arithmetics and the subtopic is the compound formula introduction uh, with the compound interest the interest is added to the principal at the end of each interval therefore the principal increases and the interest becomes greater for each interval. Uh, compound interest, when we are working with the compound interest, there are two ways of calculating compound interest. One of the method is known as the repeated simple interest method. Remember in our previous class, we looked at the simple interest where we said when we are calculating simple interest, interest is given by PRT divided by 100. And we agreed that amount is given by principal plus interest. That is where we were in our previous class. But now we need to move ahead and look at compound formula. And one of the methods applies the concepts that we worked out last class, that is simple interest. Let's look at an illustration. Calculate the compound interest on 5,000. So the 5,000 becomes our principal at 12%. So the rate is 12% per annum. And the duration is three years. But we say we need to use the first formula, which is what we are calling the repeated simple interest method. In this working, uh, the solution will be given as follows. To get the solution, we look at the interest for the first year. When we are working out interest for the first year, we look at the PR over 100 times T. But this time around, T is 1 because we are working per time interval. And the time interval this time around is 1 year. And this will be 5,000 times 12 over a hundred and when we work out that this will give us 600 so 600 becomes the interest for the first year but we said we did the amount amount is given by principal plus interest so what is the amount for our first year amount now becomes the 5000 plus our interest which is 600 and the answer is 5000 600 as demonstrated in the slide there. What about interest for the second year? When you are working interest for the second year, now the amount at the end of the first year becomes the principal for the second year. So this time round our principal is 5,600 times the interest and the interest is 12% times the time and the time is one year and when we work out that it will give us the interest for the second year and the interest for the second year in this case is 672. Now that we have the interest for the second year we can calculate the amount at the end of the second year and as usual amount is principal plus interest. So what is the amount at the end of the second year? It is the principal which was 5,000 
600 plus the interest which is 672 and when we work out that it will give us an amount of 6272